At the end of the service, we're going to light them. So that's when it gets really deadly. If you thought the cocktail sticks were bad enough, we're going to light them. But we'll, we'll leave that for a little bit later, because I think juggling a lit implement and a hymn book at the same time probably isn't a good idea. <laughs> but how important is light to us? If you look out the windows just now where you can see them, you see that it's already starting to get a little bit dark. At this time of year, we've already had the shortest day of the year, and it isn't usually until the 25th that we actually start to properly notice a difference with the night starting to get a little bit lighter again. Of course, the reverse is true in Australia, where they've had their long, long days, and uh, their nights are going to start shortening again. And that's been the case pretty much since the beginning of this planet, as one season has rolled into the next. How do you feel when it's dark nights, long, dark nights? It can make some people feel quite down. If you've ever heard of um, uh, sunlight, uh, what's it called? Sunlight affective disorder, seasonal affective disorder, not sunlight affective disorder. Um, or SAD, that is a problem for some people, quite literally. We thrive on light, we thrive on warmth. It improves our mood, helps us be happy, perhaps fills us with a little joy. And what a better, more fitting symbol for Christ himself, whose love and light warms our hearts. Now, in the beginning of the Bible, in the book of Genesis, we've got lots of different words there, and some are very, very significant. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, we're told. But then we learn about the first day that came about, when God said a word. Light. Let there be light. And the Gospel of John, which we had read just a few moments ago there, starts in a similar way. I'm just going to pick out some of the verses that we have there, because it makes special claims about Christ as the word and as the source of light. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of humankind. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. And the word became flesh, became a human, and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. So he came into the world to bring light, to bring life, and to bring love. Now, every child brings a little piece of that. We've had them running around like crazy this afternoon, and that's been lovely, absolutely lovely. But every child brings a little bit of that, that sense of life and light and love. But Christ as a child would epitomize that. Now today, of course, all around the world, it's begun already in Australia because we're after noon. People are celebrating Christmas for this next 24 plus hours for Australia and add another 24 for the rest of the world. People are celebrating Christmas. And the orange in our Christingle, we're told, represents the world. All around the world, people are surrounded by God's love. And here we have got a ribbon that's going around the orange, representing the blood of Christ, the red passion of God's love. And in all the seasons of the year, as we work our way through the year, with all the various fruits and colors and smells, we find that God's grace and love is open to us all through the year, surrounding us all around and as we light the candle a little bit later, we're invited to think on the light of Christ that brings us fullness of life, lives filled to overflowing with God's love to us 
through us, among us, and even from us, being filled with God, as children of God. So at the close of the service, we're going to uh, light our candles, but we'll leave that just another minute or two yet as we sing our last.